So becoming a dad, although is one of the most exciting chapters of my life. I mean, my daughter is about to be here any day now. And I just wanted to make this video because one of the things that I've been having to learn and overcome in my life is like how I'm dealing with stress and anxiety as I've been stepping into fatherhood. Um, there's no doubt over the last nine months, there's been so many things in my life that I've had to change and shift. And I've been called forth to be even an even stronger anchor in my family and in my personal life because of all the stress and anxiety that's happening around me. Not just because of a pregnant woman by my side that's got hormones all over the place, but like there's been so many changes in my business. There's been so many just uh, a new challenges that have that have come through where it's like, okay, I'm gonna have to shift and adapt in becoming a dad. And although again, it's one of the best times of my life, I can't wait to meet my daughter. Um, I wanted to go over with you one, some of the things that I've been doing to prepare. I mean, first and foremost, I've been studying. And one of the things that I've learned because I have noticed that like the way that I've dealt with stress a lot of times is like pushing it down, stuffing it, and a lot of anger, rage would eventually come out and I knew that like having a daughter she's calling me to be the most compassionate loving present calm graceful dad I can possibly be and me growing up with a father who is my best friend and I love him but seeing how he was able to handle stress and how he was able to handle when he uh, was overwhelmed it was with this anger and rage and I know I don't want to be that way. I don't want to yell. I don't want to be reactive and and in some kind of fight or flight. And uh, I don't want to create that for my for my girl either. Like I don't want Ashley, my fiance, to to feel anything but safe and me to be an anchor to calm, keep her calm as she's getting ready for birth. And so I've been studying. One of the things that I've learned, a buddy of mine named Rick William actually put me on to this. But he put me onto this book, it's called The Polyvagal Theory. And really in this book, first of all, it is an unbelievable book for all my men out there. It's very, very science backed. And so it's kind of a tough read because it goes into so many scientific like theories and, and it's super high level. Uh, ultimately, what it does is it teaches you about what's called the sympathetic nervous system. And it allowed me to understand from a biological standpoint, like what actually is happening inside my body when I feel stress and I feel anxiety. And what happens when you go into fight or flight? I mean, the sympathetic nervous system, essentially what it says is like, it's like a gas pedal. It literally is the thing that creates your heart to go and race a little bit more for you to start having sweaty palms and for you to go into a state of like, oh, could this be dangerous and react and go into that fight or flight, right? And so what you learn through the book are ways to understand what's going on in your nervous system, especially because for me, it goes back to my childhood. It goes back to my lineage and how men in my family have been able to deal with things when they feel not safe or when they feel stressed. And I don't wanna deal with them the way that the past has dealt with them. I wanna be able to kind of really step into a new level of grace and just being the anchor when everything around me could be chaotic and stressful and, 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 and there could be things that are in the unknown, I'm able to be the eye of the storm, not just as a dad, but even just as a leader in my business, right? Because when you can be the eye of the storm, people can rely on you and you can rely on you and that, that's powerful. And that's, that's ultimately how I want to live my life is I wanna be able to be the eye of the storm no matter what's going on so that I can never waver from any circumstance or any person can ever break me down. Uh, especially because stepping into becoming a dad, there's a new level of responsibility and a new level for me that's been kicking in as like a protector, right? I get to protect my family. Like you, if you're a father, you're a man out there, like when you start to become a dad, like there's a new, like a new, chapter of your life where you're like yo like it's like innate it's like this inner warrior gets turned on that goes back and it's probably the beginning of time with us men right being the protectors of the family of the tribe and so that's been happening and so there's a new level 
uh, of me being able to handle stress and anxiety in my life. And so understanding how, what's going on in my nervous system, what's going on in my body when things are stressful so that I can be like, oh, okay, I know what's happening right now. My sympathetic nervous system is being activated for whatever reason, whatever trigger is happening in my home or in my business or anything going on around me. And then what happens is I can start to learn practices to regulate it. And so what I've been doing is I've been tripling down on my rituals, especially my breathing exercises, like the breath. My uncle used to always say to me that if all you did today was breathe, you've done enough. And so when we can learn how to really leverage our breath and just like, you know what it feels like when all of a sudden you're stressed, if you can just slow down, catch your breath, take a moment, and sometimes that may mean that you need to walk away. Hey, I'll be back in 20 minutes to deal with this, but I just need to go take a moment to, to, to calm myself down and to regulate myself. And that's been like worked wonders for me where it was moments before I blew up, right? And I, and I react in a situation and I, instead I took, yo, I need 10 minutes or babe, I need, I need 20 minutes. I'll be right back. I'm coming back. This is important to me, but I just feel a little triggered. I need to just go and calm down for a second and center myself. And so the breath has been huge for me. And then ultimately thinking about this word kokuru. Kokuru is a Japanese word I learned when I traveled to Tokyo. And I was in Tokyo and I was like in love with the Japanese culture. It's probably why I'm, I'm now dating someone who actually is Japanese. My daughter will have part Japanese in her, which is so cool. And so hasuru means hustle, kokuru means mind, body, and spirit. And so for me, it's just important to every day to activate the kokuru and to center myself in my mind, in my body, and in my spirit. And so what I do is every day, I actually make sure to take some time to be still. These are my mindfulness practices, this is my meditation. Even if you've never meditated before, you can start by literally just not even thinking of it as meditation, but just taking a moment to get outside or go into a room and just get quiet. Just get still. Like whenever now, now that I'm becoming a dad and I'm preparing for a baby who's gonna be crying, going through all types of emotions constantly, I'm never gonna know what's gonna happen. I'm now appreciating so much more just stillness and silence. And so I'm preparing myself by like taking those intentional moments to be still, to be silent, to catch my breath, to catch my thoughts, to give myself permission to just relax and just be. And through that, I've been able to master a meditation practice that started off as five minutes, then 10 minutes, then 15 minutes. Now I'm able to meditate for as long as an hour, which my mind will be running just like, you know, but instead of resisting my thoughts, I just, am, I let them be, I don't judge them. And I just come back to my breath, let go of the thoughts, and then they'll start running again. And then I just come back to the breath and to what's present, release, let go. And I just do that over and over and over again. And I'm building this like mindfulness, like muscle, that is practicing my ability that when I have a stressful thought or I have a thought that is giving me anxiety about the future or the past or a moment that's happening in front of me, I'm able to remember that practice and come back to my breath, regulate myself. That's been huge. Another one that's been huge for me is like somatic work. And so, man, I didn't realize the power of this, but you know how I said I don't want to yell and like get angry and rage anymore? So what I do now again is create intentional time for me to do this somatic work. And for me, what that actually means is creating a space where I literally can throw a fucking fit if I want to. I can scream, I can yell, I can punch, I can let it out, let out whatever it is that I need to let out. And, but it's intentional. Now it's not random where circumstances will allow me to just get triggered and all of a sudden I'm punching a hole through a wall or I'm throwing something or I'm yelling. Now, because I'm intentionally creating space to release that. And so what that looks like for me is I go into my steam room. This doesn't happen all the time, but I'll just wait until I feel like I got something stored in my body. I'm listening, I can feel it in my nervous system. I'm a little off and there's some stress in there. And so I'll go down to my steam room. I'll, do my meditation practice, and then I'll just give myself permission to just be like, whoa, and just fucking release and just let it all out. And sometimes I'll even be like boxing the air and I'm just screaming and releasing 
whatever it is, you know, and um, and I can't tell you how good that feels. Could you imagine, you know, sometimes I'd be, I've seen like on television where there's like these certain places you can go and just start beating the shit out of a TV and fucking throwing a bit in the, and it's like an intentional place that you can literally like break shit, you know, or, you know, and I've never done that yet. I've been wanting to do that, but instead I just go into my steam room or I'll grab a pillow and just let out some steam in a safe, safe environment. Um, you can maybe go to a shooting range, you know, and shoot some guns. Maybe for you, it's, it's, it's whatever it looks like for you. Maybe it's, um, getting a punching bag. You know, I just ordered a custom Leaders Create Leaders punching bag, which is so dope. And just like going and boxing a little bit and just letting out the steam, you know, like letting it out in a healthy way. So somatic work, S-O-M-A-T-I-C, Google it, do some work and start activating that into your practice a little bit more has been huge for me. Also, just journaling, like writing out my thoughts. It's so hard for me to sit down to write. I have ADHD, DDD, whatever, the, all that shit, I have all of it. Like, I want to go, I want to do, I want to create, my mind's going crazy. But if I can, like, really just say, I'm going to be intentional and just sit down and journal my thoughts. When I finish, I feel so much better. And like, literally, it, the hardest thing is starting, like going to the gym. It, you don't want to go to the gym a lot of times, right? But once you get to that parking lot, once you get in the gym and you get some momentum, you're like, yo, this feels good. And when you're done, you feel great. And so with journaling, it's the same thing. It's hard to sit down and put that pen to paper. But once that ink starts going, you'll get into some kind of flow and you'll notice some thoughts just getting out that need to get out. By the end, you feel so much better and you may even learn something new about yourself, which is so powerful. And then last but not least, guys, community. Like, I can't tell you how long my life I've been a lone wolf. And now I got a wolf pack. And so if you really want to be a leader, if you really want to know how to deal with the stress and anxiety as you're becoming a father, lean in with other men in your life. And that's something that was like, you know, new to me. And now I'm talking to my homies. I'm talking to my boys about shit that I'm going through. I'm reaching out and taking the time to FaceTime them, send them podcasts, show them books I'm reading, ask them what they're learning about. Just, just vent to them, ask how they're dealing with certain things. And it's just been so impactful to have friends, other men that are playing a big game like me that I can get vulnerable with and I can share what's really going on and I can support. I can lean in when they need some support. And that, that has just been um, a game changer for me. And so you activate these things in your life and I guarantee you that you will be able to handle stress and anxiety like never before. And let me tell you something, the more that you are able to handle stressful situations, pressure, the more successful you, you'll, you'll be. Mark my words that the amount of pressure, stress, that, and anxiety that you can handle in your life is directly correlated to the amount of success and responsibility that you will be able to hold in your life, period. You look at Tom Brady, you look at Michael Jordan, you look at Elon Musk, you look at some of the greatest leaders in history, you bet your ass that these guys have had to learn how to handle a lot of stress and anxiety in their families, in their businesses, in the games, right? And, and they're able to stay calm in those high intense situations. And so this is so important. And uh, I just wish you guys the best in, in being able to, to handle it all because you'll have so much more success, but more importantly, your kids, your wives, your, the people, your family deserves that version of you, deserves you to be the rock, to be the anchor at the bottom of the ocean that when there's this, the hurricane going on, when there's the tornado going on in the world, because the world is going to get a lot worse, a lot harder. And the ones that can maintain being the eye of the storm are the ones that are going to come out on the other side with a real prosperous, healthy, happy, expansive family and life. All right, guys, so if this video was valuable, definitely subscribe. Let me know in the comments, especially for all my new dads out there. I love you guys. Peace.